Fridges stocked with fresh leftover food from households and businesses are being opened across the UK. The community fridge scheme was piloted in Swadland Coat in Derbyshire last year and is now being set up in 30 new locations. Tessa Trix is from Hubbub, one of the organisations behind the new network. She told UCB's David Peake that they might be useful for those in need, but the main idea is to reduce waste. Community Fridge is a communal space where surplus food can be shared with the local community and that food might come from business or individuals. So it's a really good way to reduce food waste and help householders save money and connect the community really by building a spirit of kind of trust and sharing and they work on an honesty basis. At the moment, there are five fridges existing in the UK and they all work a little bit differently. We've set up two at Hubbub and then we've got a further five that are launching. One launched last week and we've got another launching tomorrow and then three later this summer. One toasted in Northern Ireland, Milton Keynes, three in London. We have one in Swaddling Coat and one in Camberwell, South London. Um, There are some other groups around the UK that have set up their own fridges. So we're really joining together, including the pre-existing groups, to create a community fridge network, which is essentially a forum for existing organisations to share best practice, but really to help other communities feel empowered and capable of setting up their own community fridges. We have a lot of questions about health and safety and legal issues. So the Community Fridge Network is really just about kind of sharing best practice and enabling more community fridges to flourish in quite a safe and effective way. And the idea of these is that they're going to be filled up with food that is basically getting close to its use-by date? Yes, that's correct. So it partly depends on um, the fridge and the area and the organisation. But each um, community fridge is likely to consist of two or three appliances, which would be two fridges and a freezer. Um, So one of the fridges would be open for everyone. And the second fridge may be in some cases that the community centre wants to redistribute that to local charities or specific centre users. Um, The food comes from donors such as local retailers, restaurants and individuals in many cases such as if you're going on holiday, you might want to put some items in there. We have um, a food inclusion and exclusion list, and we've met with local environmental health officers in each of the localities and consulted the Food Standards Agency. So we think we've got some fairly robust guidelines for what can come in and come out of the fridge. And the idea is that these will be used in a similar way to food banks, but not quite the same. Um, I would say these are quite different from food banks, really. I think our primary objective is to reduce food waste. And we're very much of the thinking that food waste should not be a solution to food poverty or vice versa. So I think we're really interested to see how the community fridges can work in the sense of building trust and a spirit of community. But they absolutely should not be any kind of form of replacement for Um, inaction on food poverty and they don't address the root causes of food poverty so we'd see them as quite distinct from food banks really. That was Tessa Tricks from Hobob.